Well, Ricardo, there has been a lot of talk that the RBA has done its job and certainly the RBA can take some credit in weakening the Aussie dollar. That was part of its reasoning in cutting interest rates to those historic lows last week. But really this is a story about the US dollar gaining strength. Now, there has been chatter that the Federal Reserve's bond buying program could be wound up sooner than expected and that's seen a lot of investors move into the US dollar and that is why we are seeing this weakness in the Aussie dollar. Juliet, as Australia heads into winter, many Aussies may want to go overseas for warmer weather in either Europe or the United States. So what's going to happen with the exchange rate? Well, look, good news for those holiday travellers because we really do think that this weakness in the Aussie dollar and the dip below parity is going to be short-lived. Our analysts still have forecasts for the Aussie dollar to grind back towards its two-and-a-half-year average of around 103 US cents. In fact, they're saying 104 by years. And uh, really, though, we could see a bit more weakness in the Aussie dollar this week, and that will be, again, due to offshore factors, including retail sales coming out in the US tonight and also some Chinese data out later in the week. And what about the other major currencies, the pound and the euro? Well, we're still saying that the Aussie is really strong. Now, we're still seeing weakness across the euro. We've got forecasts of around 77 to 70, uh, sorry, 73 to 77 euro cents for the remainder of the year with the Aussie's relationship there. And the fact that the Australian economy is outperforming the British economy also means that our dollar is going to remain strong against the pound. In fact, we've got a forecast that the Aussie will hit 70 British pence by the end of the year, Ricardo.